The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has a new apostle. Elder Patrick Kieran was selected to join the high-ranking body. The news came down in a way we haven't seen in almost 30 years. Daniel Woodruff is live near Temple Square with a story. Daniel. Yeah, Jamie and Jim, getting a new apostle by itself is pretty rare, and when it does happen, members of the church usually hear about it at General Conference, which happens twice a year. But for the first time since 1994, it didn't happen that way. Just hours after receiving life-changing news, Elder Patrick Kieran joined graduates at BYU Hawaii. As I prepared thoughts to share with you, of course, I never imagined that I would be sharing them on the day when I would be named the newest member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. It's staggering to me even just to say that. The 62-year-old fills the vacancy in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints left by the recent passing of President M. Russell Ballard. My inadequacies, weaknesses, and lack are painfully clear to me. But I have faith in the patience of my Father the grace of Jesus Christ, and the tutoring of the Holy Ghost. The church says Kieran was called and ordained on Thursday. The British and Irish national is the third apostle chosen by church president Russell M. Nelson, all of whom have international roots. I think it is a good thing, yeah. Outside the church's institute building at the University of Utah, Sean Koo from South Korea says he feels the church becoming more worldwide. I think President Nelson obviously sees the global nature of the faith. Paul Reeve is chair of Mormon studies at the U. He says Kieran is best known for his compassionate stance toward refugees and victims of abuse. He seems willing to reach out to those who might feel marginalized. He seems uh, to have a heart of compassion for those kind of uh, situations. Elder Kieran will now serve as an apostle for life. He's now also in line to possibly become president of the church someday. He and his wife have four children. Live downtown, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.